Welcome everyone, my name is Simon and we are the Whales of Wall Street. I hope you're doing fantastically well wherever you are in the world. We are going to be going through Elrond today in this chart, eGold on the exchange, E-G-L-D. First of all, before we start off with that, please do make sure that you like this video if you find it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and make sure you press that bell notification button so you get notified of all the awesome videos coming your way from ourselves. So let's go into this chart into a, a bit more detail. So the last update we had uh, when we when we were looking at this um, silly drawings again, honestly, right, <laughs> when we were looking previously uh, around this area, we drew this purple box in with these trend lines and said, look, if we can keep the momentum um, going across in this format, we could start seeing an upside. Now, we did see that, but actually, um, to be honest, um, one, it was positive to see that we were keeping within what we were suggesting would happen. But this little jump here was because of that Cooper Co um, transition and integration of the systems. So using Elrond network for that. Uh, which is great so it's pushed us up here which is really really interesting so um what we got here is we pushed up to this 185 which is one of our previous resistance levels around may time um, and we seem to have yes of course slight drop off here but we've got a similar alignment to what we had around here so it's almost like we scaled up and we haven't seen like a any kind of bearish momentum or anything like that but what i would suggest here is we're very much in a position where depending on the close in the next 24 hours of where that goes we might start seeing an upside and a push to this next height here of 185 again and getting beyond that barrier so we can start getting towards this 200 mark now i do believe if we get to the 200 dollar um, and we might go slightly over that and we might get a bit of a correction which is understandable just from the profit taking because actually if we look back we have gone from quite a long way from the 20th 21st july all the way down here at 67 dollars which is quite phenomenal really and now we're tracking at 176 as of recording so what i would suggest here is we're kind of in limbo so the rsi is actually a slightly top heavy but in my opinion, because of the straight lineness of this, or you know, this kind of area here of being st stable across this area, is that we may see um, you know a bit of momentum loss with people perhaps getting frustrated or it's not moving and this that and the other, irrespective of how amazing Alvarez is and what it will be in the future, etc. There's a lot of psych psychological aspects to these markets as well. So I've drawn in this purple area. And this is actually, again, this is not financial advice. This is just personal opinion. This is where I put a personal buy-in opportunity uh, from Elrond, where I took some profits around this area up here. Uh, near enough, 185. I did actually do it, I think, around 182. So I've got this area in around about 160, but I think I put it slightly higher, 161 something. I have to remember which one it is. I always do that so it's not bang on the rounded number because I tend to find that psychologically um, from a trader perspective you tend to go slightly above or below and try and hit those trigger points before they get there because sometimes it just bounces off and doesn't even hit those rounded numbers so i put one there just in case but of course the best thing for everyone is of course if this powers up to that mark and then we can start pushing into those highs this line up here is the previous all-time high around 245 so we've got still plenty of time to get up that that aspect of the chart um, in anticipation that we we'll probably get get to around that in october sometime i would have thought um, but let's see how september transpires it could be we go on a massive parabolic run uh, but generally they say september is quite quiet um, but I do believe it's reflecting on how how Bitcoin performs, of course, and then the transition into the altcoins and and all the other awesome projects. I don't, I don't really consider these altcoins, to be honest, anymore. I think they're they're big enough projects to be known as themselves. But um, yeah, that's just the terminology that's used, and we have to go with that. So yeah, I do anticipate perhaps towards the end of September, October, getting around to these areas up here. But we need to uh, do an update on that next week, perhaps, to, to check where we are. 
but yeah i'm really intrigued to see how this pans out uh, like i said i put an order down here because it could literally go either way this momentum is not shifting as as we do this recording and as i said if we can get some bullish momentum up to that that 185 and push over that and get a close over that line then happy days we can start getting a new support area and push upwards but at the moment in time we're in very much limbo between this area here which is in between the resistance of 158 roughly and that powerhouse of 185 which we touched on the 1st of September couldn't quite make it and we've had this very very slow gradual reduction here however I would point out that on the MACD this narrowing is very much pinpointing what we just said it could literally go either way at this stage we had the crossover back here and back here so within that small period of time we've already done the flip over we're back in the arguably a small bullish momentum but very much not stable enough for me to com commit to a point to say it's definitely going up it's definitely going down i'm literally saying that it could go either way at this stage the volumes are not increasing um much other than this area around here which we obviously mentioned is the the cooper co announcement a bit of fomo going in as the rise came in as well but obviously a positive is that we've stabilized so it's not it's not done a, a drop or a big correction or anything like that it's literally as if we're weighing for a decision bears versus bulls in my opinion who's going to win this let us know in the comments below which way you think it's going to go in the next few days are we going to head back down towards this area and get potential buy opportunities um, or we're going to start shifting up to that 185, get that support level and push up. Let us know what you think. But either way, of course, long term, I'm anticipating, of course, it's going to go up to here, maybe up to that $300 mark, which would be absolutely phenomenal in this next run uh, cycle. So let's see how it goes. We'll update this in a few days time. Uh, but of course, if anything critical happens within that time, we will definitely do a video or at least please do keep an eye on our Instagram and Twitter. We'll have a brief update on either of those if we can't get a video done in time. So look out for those platforms also. So we'll leave it there, guys. Like I said, let us know what you think of the LRM project and what you think will happen in the next week. And we will leave it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.